Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Arab and your tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of May general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Libra, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was You Will Know by Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder happens to be a Taurus. We are currently in Taurus season. And I'm going to tell you the message that I heard was the clarity you need is coming to you now, literally now. For a lot of you all in regards to your love life, whether you're single or in a relationship, I feel like there's some type of questions about your love life, something that you, you're you making a decision about. Should I stay? Should I go? Um, What is it that I want in love? What is it that I feel like? resonates with me on a love heart-based matter you know i'm getting that for a lot of you all and i feel like you're gonna find out before tour season wraps up again we are cur currently in tour season right now and i feel like before tour season wraps up you're gonna have the clarity you're gonna get that clarity that you've been seeking for a very long time because i definitely get questions uh, i'm gonna tell you for some of you guys i'm getting self-worth stuff you're questioning why relationships don't work for you or why your current relationship is going through what it's going through. I'm getting self-worth things. And I'm, I want you to see at the bottom of the deck, you're starting off with um, Taurus energy you're here with the King of Pentacles. So again, so you're going to find something out before Taurus season even wraps up. I'm telling you. So let's see. Again, whether you're in a relationship or single, you're getting the clarity. That clarity that you have been seeking, you are getting ready to receive it, okay? Currently, at the, that's all I say. It's coming in quick. It's coming in hot, okay? You got the Eight of Wands, fast-moving communication coming out of blue unexpectedly. Again, I feel like for a lot of you all, clarity is coming in. It could be a fire sign that you could be just sitting down talking to, having some type of conversation, and they could drop some gems on you, okay? It could be a Leo, Sag, Aries individual who tells you kind of like, hey, you know, you might be going through this type of stuff because of this or because of that. Also, if you're dealing with a fire sign, you may make a decision about how you're going to move forward with this individual. I'm getting that as well. So let's see what we get for you guys. We're gonna go through the deck until we get your wow. Yep. You didn't I say you will know. King of Swords, whether you're male or a female, doesn't matter. This is you. You will get that knowledge. Communication and mental is what swords represent. So you're gonna get that message. You're gonna get that information. Again, I'm gonna say it's something with self-esteem. Okay. Strength card. The lion is by far, you know, that's the king of the jungle. But look at him. He's allowing himself to be submissive. He's allowing himself to be overthrown. This is literally like a taming of the beast. And for some of you guys, you, you may have given your power. Strength is power, right? You may have given your power to people in relationships, and you need to take your power back. Wow, okay, you guys are watching me shuffle. There's 78 cards here, and we're right back to the same card. So that's how I know the sign of us jump into this reading, because the message is very clear here. Bottom of the deck, you have the magician. It's time for you to manifest your reality. Whatever it is you want. Also, if you're looking for some, certain answers about something, you're getting ready to manifest it right now, Okay. You got Gemini and Virgo energy here with the Magician. This is a major arcana, which means it is definite. So you guys are manifesting the truth. You're manifesting clarity. Hmm. And it definitely has to do with matters of the heart, because even though this is a planet, that green circle makes me think about your heart chakra, which is green. It's a green, you know, orb. So look at right here. Look at the, it's like heart and mind. Your heart and mind have to be in the same place, or it will be in a certain place, in the same place. You're getting knowledge about what's going on in your life right now. And again, a lot of you guys are manifesting. If you're single, you can ready to manifest new love. Again, it could be with a Virgo or a Gemini, or you could be meeting this person in Gemini or Virgo season. Gemini season is May, June, and Virgo season is August, September. So let's get into it, okay? Again, we want your major kind of justice card for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. And we're going to get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. So some of you guys, it may be a couple months before you meet someone if you're single, right? And I'm going to say again, a lot of you guys in your mind, look at this. Right behind you, nine of swords and you are swords. Sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears. Um, and that nine is making me think about what I was saying. You just had the magician that is Gemini Virgo. Virgo season is in September. So some of you guys could be single right now and you'll be meeting someone new in virgo season specifically september and did i not say look what's right in front of you did i not say before tour season wraps up because this is major kind of for tours before tour season wraps up you won't have that enlightenment look at that glow you will have that enlightenment something that you don't even see coming i'm telling you right now even look she's blindfolded this woman here is blindfolded so you feel like the world is not showing you anything that gives you hope or faith but you're going to get that clarity. I cannot make this up. Are you looking at that? You will have your clarity. 
You have that clarity. The sword is up. Sword up, yes. Sword down, no. You will have clarity about the situation. Sleepless nights, just like anxious and going through it. Someone could be nine months pregnant or like literally getting ready to deliver any day now. Um, also, someone could have a nine month old. And I don't typically get that with this card, but I am getting that. Someone could feel alone. Like, ooh, okay. So I'm going, I'm hearing also that somebody could be going through postpartum depression. I'm hearing that also. Again, I never get that with this card, so I know it's specific to someone. And again, I'm just really focused on how both of these women are blindfolded. Again, this could be a male as well. If you are a male watching, I just feel like overall there's like feeling lost, feeling like I don't, I can't see, you know what I'm saying? You can't see the forest for the trees. Like the trees are obstructing your view. Like it just feels like everything feels cloudy, but you will know, you will get clarity before tour season wraps up again. If you're in a relationship and it just feels like even though you're in a relationship, you feel alone because she's in that bed alone, you're going to get clarity about what the next steps is for you. And then if you're completely single, I feel like also you're going to find out. And I'm going to say right now, I'm going to give you a big heads up. For a lot of you all, situations and relationships weren't working for you because you were giving your power away to people. I'm just telling you that right now. I keep getting confidence, stuff with your confidence. Because if you see how she's holding and, and wrapping her arms around herself, it's like she just, she's very vulnerable. But if you look at this woman with that red on, even with her being blindfolded, she looks quite powerful compared to this woman here, doesn't she? So it kind of gives, at least to me, that's what I'm seeing. So it gives me the vibe of like someone who's not very confident in relationships. You give your power to people. You you invest too much in people before they invest in you also. And that's that's something that you're learning. Because again, source communication and mental, mental learning. That's something you're learning about yourself. Bottom of the deck, okay, you got love. You got love coming in. And a lot of you guys got love on your mind also with the Ace of Cups. You got brand new love coming in. Someone's first, middle, last initial could be W, M, T, J, C, U, H, P, R, or S. Also, I just heard Aaron. Somebody's name is Aaron. First or middle name. You got two. Wow. So you got three women here who are blindfolded. Are you looking at that? And then I say, it, and it's interesting also because if you look at her, she has her arms across her chest. She has the same thing. Two different decks, right? So like I said, there's some confusion. The source up again is yes but her arms are crossed like stuck between a rock and a hard place also this makes me think about antennas they always look like antennas to me so this is some somebody's perspective or perception of things is is becoming clear a lot of you guys are very guarded you may find out also that you're very guarded with your heart because both of them are clutching their heart she's holding her heart here she has the swords across her heart or her hands across her heart here a lot of you guys are very very guarded and this is what's causing relationship issues also. Or you're dealing with someone who's very guarded. And it's causing relationship issues. Yeah. Nine of Wands won't work because someone's been very hurt before. Again, another nine. You got the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Um, also, you. <laughs> you could be a September Libra. Getting that also. I just seen Jessica card. You guys in that last shuffle there. So it's like you need to focus on you and learn your self worth and value. Pinnacles have worth and value. You got to reverse. I'm also going to say again, Taurus, Taurus energy. So before Taurus season wraps up, you gonna find something out. Right now you don't feel. I'm 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 just telling you very strong. I feel like somebody has self worth issues. And remember, I was talking about that chakra, right? Your self-worth, your self-esteem, that's that's your solar plexus chakra. If you notice right here, she has a yellow orb or a pinnacle, uh, pinnacle, right? That yellow makes me think about the solar plexus. Your solar plexus chakra is yellow, and it's right in the area where your solar plexus would be. Somebody needs to really pay attention to their self-worth. I feel like you guys give way too much power to people in relationships, and that's something that you're learning or something you learned. And it's kind of a hard pill for you to swallow, but that's part of the learning process. Like, now that you know this, you know, it's like when you know better, you do better. Let's get a clarifier for the hair font. Clarifier for the hair font. Okay. And look how it landed. Did you get two? You had three cards. I'm going to take the one at the bottom. And it landed right here on the justice card. So all of these are things that affect you. Four of cups, not seeing your worth or not liking or allowing people to just offer you anything and just accepting it. You're not going for it. The death card in reverse and then also major arcana um, judgment. So you have both of these in reverse. So the death card of right talks about a definite ending. In reverse, it's like a lack of an ending. It's also associated with Scorpio. Then you also have the Judgment card. Reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life in reverse. Also, that also is uh, associated with Scorpio. This could be Scorpio also. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. Some will rise in Venus in the visual or something ended in Scorpio season. But it didn't completely end with the Death card in reverse. So it's like something that... 
Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, with the death card in reverse and the judgment card in reverse, I feel like some of you guys, you don't make wise judgment calls or you didn't make wise judgment calls in the past when it came to people that you were just accepting like anything from these people. Or so I really just feel like just little stuff here. It's like the little things became big things because you were just allowing whatever. And that's not to say like you're gullible or naive or anything like that. It's just saying like you just, you weren't in your power at that time, but you're quite powerful now. I can tell you that. You are coming into your power, and that's a very beautiful thing. You're not foolish anymore. What did I just say? You got the full card reverse. Now, the full card talks about taking a leap of faith into something new, but in reverse, this also is saying, like, no longer being foolish. Again, I'm not calling you foolish, but you may have done some things or foolishly given yourself to people, or that's how you feel. You feel foolish about things. They're saying, come out of that frame of mind. That's done. Again, I'm going to say that bright yellow in the background makes me think about that solar plexus chakra solar plexus that's your self-esteem your willpower you know your confidence a lot of you all were not being your most confident self in relationships and that's why those things wrapped up and as painful as it may seem it was necessary for your soul's growth for your physical spiritual emotional financial growth it was it was necessary so let's get a clarifier for the nine of swords clarify for the nine of swords for libra sun moon rising venus individuals okay and you got the judgment card reverse again so yeah I also feel like you're not going to go back to past people. So if somebody reached out to you during this Mercury retrograde, which we are currently in right now, I feel like if you're kind of tossing and turning and kind of restless about what decision to make, the universe is telling you no. That's major arcana. So they're telling you don't go back to that person because they haven't changed. I'm going to tell you that right now. And then, um, yeah, they haven't changed. Hmm. They're just trying to break down your defenses because the seven of wands is guardness, defensiveness, being protective. They're trying to break down your defenses to get back in your good graces because, again, some of you guys were giving ultimate power to people. And so they like the control. So some of you guys be having sleepless nights about what to do in regards to a person who's coming back from the past. And then for others, there's, there's this thing like stop beating up on yourself. Stop beating up on yourself for making bad what you or what you consider to be bad judgment calls in the past. Because you're coming to a point of power and strength. You, you're you more powerful than you give yourself credit for. And I know that because you have the strength card in the beginning. The strength and power, that's, they're one and the same. You guys are more powerful than you give yourself credit for. And you need to stop beating up on yourself. Because she's literally beating up on herself to the point where she can't even sleep. She or he, put it where it applies for you. Somebody is restless thinking about their life and things like that. But you got to come out of that because it'll keep you in a place of standstill. There will be lack of forward movement in that frame of thought and again that's your thoughts right there with the swords so just like the song stevie wonder you will know you will know and i feel like for a lot of you guys you and i said stevie wonder it's a taurus you're ending you're starting off right here with taurus before taurus season wraps up you guys will have like it's like an aha some type of epiphany will come to you about what you deserve or what what caused a lot of disruptions in your love life and things like that you're going to get clarity about that i feel that for sure okay so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.